gentlemen, my first guest is an actor you know from Ballers, Black Klansman, and Tenet. He now stars as Boy Willie in The Piano Lesson on Broadway. Please welcome to The Late Show, John David Washington. <laughs> Thanks for having me. <laughs> now, currently, currently making your Broadway debut in August Wilson's The Piano Lesson. There's a playbill from opening right, right there. Okay, that's an, ex that's an extraordinary experience. When you go to work, your work is at a Broadway theater, do you, when you go to the Barrymore Theater, does it sink in? I mean, you already have an, a, sort of a well-established career, but what's it like to be on Broadway, to be headlining something like that? Um, I mean, it's a, it's a tremendous blessing. It, um, it feels like I'm in the big leagues, you know? Like, every time I'm going in there, I'm a part of history. The Barrymore history, yeah. August Wilson history, um, the man who originated the role I'm playing, uh, Sam Jackson, you know, his history, you know? Yeah. yeah. So and Sharing the stage. Sharing, sharing the stage, the stage with, with, with him. With Sam Jackson is... Um, wow. So I just... Uh, uh, you know, so a lot of pressure, obviously, too, but uh, I feel welcomed and I feel like I belong. Well, um, the play is two hours and 20 minutes long, and your character, Boy Willie, talks for almost the entire thing. You know, it's like King Lear. How do you memorize that much material? Um, I have no idea. To be, I mean, just, you know, repetition. It is a little miraculous it's, 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 to be able to grab that much stuff and hold it in your head. It's, 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 it's a tall task, but it's really about setting my intentions, knowing why I'm saying these words and knowing who I'm saying them to. You know, and once I understand, when I, once I got to understand... Um, the plight of this character and, and understanding the, the Jim Crow South, which he's, which he's from, and understanding the history of our people and the history of the Charles family, his family, it makes the words come to life. And uh, you realize that uh, how great these words that August Wilson wrote are when you understand your mission behind these words. The, the better the writing, the easier it is to memorize, is, is what I have found. <laughs> no? <laughs> I don't know. No? no? Sometimes, sometimes bad writing, you can cover up with an ad-lib here and a, yeah, yo, there, but not with this. This is like Shakespeare. You know, you can't ad-lib, you can't add stuff. You gotta say the words and use the words, and when you respect the words, they work for you. The part of, of Boy Will, as you were saying, was originated by Samuel Jackson in 1987. Now he's your co-star. When you're on stage, I mean, I'm certainly not when you're in the midst of performance, but there were any time in the process of making this and the rehearsal process, we thought, I wonder what he would have done in this moment. Or did you feel any pressure because he was right there? All kinds of pressure. Uh, yeah, somewhat like, I wonder what he would have done in this moment. Another like, I hope I'm not disappointing him. He's looking at me crazy right now. That is, am I messing up? Is, is he a character? Or is, or is it Sam Jackson? like, you mother, you know? <laughs> so uh, a tremendous amount of pressure, but also I feel so much support from him. You know, he's been very gracious and, and so helpful and influential in my development in my own way for the uh, character. Well, he thinks the world of your performance, and I don't know whether you saw him when he was on this show back in September, uh, um, but he talked about how he wasn't really allowed to talk to you uh, about this. Because, of course, uh -huh. his, his wife is the director. Absolutely. She and, runs the show. And, and this is what he said about your performance. But the audience is really like, oh, my God. You know, they're like, they love him so much because they believe what he wants and what he's doing. And I believe it. And I'm moved by it. And I'm sitting there just like, this is a great play to do every night. I'm sitting there enjoying the play and, you know, hoping that it's like, oh, oh. Oh, no, did I miss my line? <laughs> yes. Oh, man. He's a, he's a tough critic. You know, yes. he, he's, he's, uh, he, he's very uh, hard to please. So I feel that, I mean, that's great. That's very moving that he said that. And I, you know what's interesting? I feel supported every time we do that play. Like, the way he looks at me in character, like, it feels like he's a proud uncle. He and Potts, Michael Potts, who's playing my other uncle, mm -hmm. Wine and Boy, I just feel such a, such a comfort and support from them because also they were hazing me in during the uh, the rehearsal process. I had these banana chips once. He's like, what, well, they don't eat no banana chips 1936? What is that? You better get some pork rinds. I'm like, man. <laughs> I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, pork rinds. You right, though. You right. You right. So, uh, you know, but he's headed the game. Huh? Boy, Willie's thinking ahead. They go, you know, so, mm -hmm. yeah, he's just little, little stories like that uh, that I appreciate. Yeah. Well, we have to take a quick break, but we'll be right back with more John David Washington, everybody. Stick around. <laughs> 